Hi everyone, I'm excited to show you one of the coolest applications released by Coffee Cup recently for responsive layout maker users and it will be available shortly or possibly after New Year to the rest of the world and uh, it comes in a two version Pro and Basic version and both it comes for Mac and Windows as well this is basic version and I will show you what Add Elements has and I will try to make another review for the Pro one and you decide it. You decide which one is right for you and of course I recommend or strongly advise go for Pro version. When we fire up a red or responsive email designer we are presented with a default template and a one default breakpoint which is by default is 620 pixel and we can change modify it from either from here or 500 or we can move this breakpoint left and right but we cannot delete this this is a default breakpoint but if you need to add extra breakpoints we can add through here and delete from here and from the layout panel, layout tabs, we have few rows and we can merge the columns, merge to left, merge to right, and we can divide the columns. Move up and down from here and resize what is in advance. And it comes with the full width column. This is the advance and when we go to elements tab we have heading one to six we add paragraphs we add text black code text and so on and of course we can add images button and horizontal line and social box such as uh, twitter facebook or google plus in the advanced tab we had image with text or text with image and of course from the design panel we can uh, modify or manipulate all the elements by design here through CSS, it's CSS. And from the campaign setting, this is where we enter our username and password of Coffee Cup to the disk box and we sign up. From the email test, we can connect red responsive email designer to the, our personal email accounts for such as Gmail, Yahoo, and SMTP, SMTP accounts. And we can preview it locally or preview in our browsers. And from export, we can export our project. The same things, it will present us with these windows we need to set our login or account with the coffee cup here and add our personal emails and profiles the users we need to send email and the list will be registered here for now if you need to test it out for in locally continue with the updates it will save your project in locally on your hard drive and of course when we click uh, the save without up update or upload it will we have to save the project first then we are presented with this we either can copy the code or get the html or send the test for now let's get the html This is our email HTML. All of our project will be saved here. Not say project, our output will be here. And as I said before, it comes in two versions, Pro and Basic. I will try to make another review for the Basic one, uh, the Pro one, I'm sorry. And see the differences. Of course, with a lot of features, it comes with the Pro version.
and of course it comes with uh, we can start our new blank project once we start with the new blank pro document we are presented with a single row and single column with 12 spans now we need to change the uh, body background of body we go from the design tab we change the by body's background and the same thing for the rows we can change the colors and the same for columns for individual every individual elements we can modify from the design tab and from the elements oh sorry layouts if we add new row with the single column of 12 spans we can add elements such as header 1 to 6 some paragraphs and some image horizontal line and so on another buttons and social box in the advanced tab we have this is the coolest uh, feature in both version image with text image will be on the left and text will be in the right and here image on the right and text on the left this is very cool and of course we can uh, manipulate the design from the from design tab here all we can manip manipulate is CSS through here and another uh, things we can add our own image and it's stored here we can create new folder name the folder new and we can add our own image or assets to this folder and it will be saved locally when and we upload to our servers will be upload to s drive if i believe i believe s drive yeah this is for now and once again i'm strongly advising you guys if you are intent to buy this application go for pro version thank you for watching